Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube workout of the week. This time we are doing an athletic intermediate reformer workout and I am using three heavy springs to get started. We're gonna begin with some footwork. I'm gonna come down onto the carriage here and put my heels right here on the foot bar. They're gonna be in line with my sit bones and I have a nice neutral alignment. Guys, take a deep breath in through your nose, exhale and press the carriage out and then return. And just do that about eight more times. So pressing out and returning with control. Now as you press out, I want you to think about straightening your knees but not hyperextending them and pressing through the center of the heel as you press out. That's it. And just work at your own pace here. But we do want it to be a warm up so you want to go a little bit, not fast, but at a good pace we'll call it. All right, we're gonna do one more, bye bam bam. And then we're gonna switch. We're gonna go in onto the balls of the feet. Now I'm still hip distance apart. I'm gonna lift my heels up and press out from here and return. And again, exhale away, inhale, return. Press out and return. You should feel this more in the quads now, the front of the thigh and return, but still working on pulling the back of the thigh down so you get some glute and hamstring work as well. And let's do a couple more. There we go. And now hold this one out here and we're going to lower and lift. Five, four, three, exhale down, two, and one. And then come on in. Now let's go back to heels on. And what I'm going to do is just float my hips off here. So I'm just barely off the carriage and I'm still having that little curve in my lumbar spine. I'm not tucking under here. And then I'm gonna press out from there and return. Two. And let's do that again. Press three. And four. And five. Let's go to eight. So you exhale out. Don't lock your knees. Don't start lifting your bum any higher. Keep it just floating above the carriage. And one more. Press and lower down. Whew. Okay. High half toe now. So on the balls of your feet, hip distance apart, and you're gonna lift the hips off, still maintaining the neutral, and press, and return. Push, and return. Press right through the ball of the foot, between the great toe and the second toe. Right there, nice and level with your hips. Remember, don't start to ride them up. Keep them low, and press. Let's do two more. One more, now you're gonna hold this one out here, and you're just gonna drop one heel under and the other knee will bend and then switch. You wanna keep the hips from rotating. Remember the hips are just off the carriage here and reach and reach. Let's do four and three and two and one. Now both up, bend your knees and set your hips down. Back of your legs should really be feeling. Let's go out to second position here. So heels on the outside of the bar and you're gonna press out and return and bring it in and again press and through so the knees are supposed to go right over the center of the foot here and you exhale as you press and inhale as you return now from here we're just going to float those hips off and we're going to press out here and in and press now in this position with the legs rotated out and pressing extending the hip you're going to really feel the glutes engage Few more, and press. Last one, and come in and set your hips down. All right, guys, now from here, just let's switch it up. I'm gonna go to a heavy and a light spring, and I'm gonna grab the straps. We're gonna do a little bit of arm work laying down here. And I'm gonna begin with a little tricep work. So I'm gonna scoot a little bit away from the shoulder rest, Take my legs tabletop, strap in each hand, and then extend the elbows and bend. And exhale two, and bend. And that's it, three, and bend. Two more, four, last one here. And all I'm gonna do is add an ab prep or a hundreds pos position with my upper body coming up and then lowering back down. And exhale up two, and down. So use the abs as much as or more than the arms here to move that carriage out. One more. Now stay up, bend the elbows, and press for five. 
and exhale, four, stay lifted, three, and two, and one, and lower down. Now from here, just take your arms out to the side, and we're gonna do arms pulling from side here. It's a great way to hit the lats, and you're gonna pull down toward your hips, and then come back out, and exhale, press. Palms are facing in, and let's do three more here, three, and two, and one. Now, we're gonna add that upper body. So as you pull, come up, and then lower back down. And exhale, pull from the side and come up, and lower back down, now again. Lifting up here, and back down, and again, exhale up. And down, now you're gonna stay up, and then the arms reach out, and you're gonna pull for five, and exhale, four, and we got three, and two, and one, and lower back down. All right, guys, from here, we're gonna switch our springs again. So I'm gonna go to two heavy, because we're gonna go feet in straps. So come on back down here onto the carriage, and let's take the straps onto the feet here, one at a time. And from here, we're gonna start with the legs bent and turned out. So knees about shoulder distance apart, heels together. And from there, press and point and come back in. Exhale, press out and return. Push right through, notice your pointing the toes at the end, getting a good long line there. Your inner thighs are zippering together as you press out. And let's do four, and three, and two, and one. Now hold them straight, and we're gonna go into circles here. So you're gonna lift, open, and pull around. Come up, open, and pull around. We're gonna do three more, Three, and exhale, two, don't lock your knees, and one more, should feel really good, nice hip opener there, one, and come back in. Now, let's take the straps off your feet, and come on up. We're gonna go into a little kneeling work here, you can sit if you want, but we're gonna do some side facing work, and I'm gonna go down to one heavy spring. I'm gonna grab the strap, so when you're kneeling, I have my knees hip distance apart, but remember, you can sit if you don't want to kneel. And just grab the strap in the hand closest to it, lace your fingers together, rotate and come back. So we're getting a little side twist here, working the obliques, exhale, turn, and again, press. And let's do three more, and two, and one more time and back. Now, I'm just gonna take that strap in one hand and I'm gonna punch it across and come back. And exhale, punch two and three. So this is really good for the pecs and the arms in front of the shoulder and press. Now, I'm just gonna take the opposite hand here. Be careful because it's a balance challenge. So I use my free arm now as a support beam against my side and I'm gonna do a backhand and back and press two and Three, and down through, two more. And exhale, this is really good for the back of the shoulder, tricep, and the muscles along the back. Now, let's turn around. We're gonna do that same thing to the other side, starting with my side twist. So I grab the strap and the hand closest to it, lace my fingers together, rotate, and come back. And two. And pull with your abs, not your arms. Keep your hands right in front of your sternum the whole time. Two more here. And one more. That's it, now we're punching. So punch across and come back. And exhale, two. And back. And again. Here we go, one more. And now we're gonna do our backhand. So use your support beam here. Take it slow, don't fall over, up and out, and back down through. And a reach, and down through, and again, reach. And two more, and one more, and down through. Okay, now, one more thing here. 
We're gonna bring the foot bar up and we're gonna go into a down stretch because I wanna get some extension of the spine. So from here, I'm gonna go to one heavy, one light spring, and I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna lengthen my spine from tail to head and then push the legs back until I'm in a bow shape. And then I'm gonna hinge forward and back from the shoulder and knee, two, and exhale up three times. Come back and drive those knees underneath you and relax back. Let's do it again. So lengthen the spine, push back. Now hinge forward, exhale one, and back, and two, and one more, three. Should feel really good. And then curl and come all the way back into the start. And that's it guys, that's our quick workout for the day. I hope that you enjoyed it and please hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time on YouTube, bye.